how can highly ordered crystalline nanomaterials conduct heat so poorly? In classical physics, materials that are well-ordered, like perfect crystals, are expected to conduct heat efficiently. Heat in solids is carried by phonons, which are quantized vibrations of the atomic lattice. In a clean crystalline material, phonons travel long distances without much scattering, meaning thermal conductivity should be high. So here's the paradox. Why do some nanostructured crystals, even those with near-perfect lattice order, show extremely low thermal conductivity? This puzzling behavior is known as the thermal conductivity reduction paradox. It flips our expectations and challenges the traditional models used to understand heat flow. To understand what's going on, imagine a highway filled with cars, representing phonons. In a clean, well-paved road, a perfect crystal, the cars move fast and far with few interruptions. But in some nanostructured materials, even though the road appears perfectly smooth on the atomic scale, the cars still can't travel far. Why? The answer lies in nanostructuring, the deliberate design of features on the scale of a few nanometers. These features include interfaces, boundaries, pores, and even atomic scale patterning. When phonons encounter these nanoscale obstacles, they scatter, losing energy or changing direction. This scattering limits the phonon's ability to carry heat, sometimes so severely that the thermal conductivity drops to values approaching those of amorphous or glassy materials. One striking example is nanostructured silicon, which is normally an excellent thermal conductor. But when silicon is made into nanowires, superlatives, or thin films with embedded nanoparticles, its thermal conductivity can plummet by more than an order of magnitude, even though the crystal lattice remains largely intact. The phonons are still there, but their paths are constantly interrupted by boundaries, strain fields, and local vibrational mismatches. This effect is especially pronounced when phonon mean free paths. The average distances phonons travel between scattering events become comparable to the structural features of the material. In such cases, the system enters a quasi-ballistic or boundary scattering regime where the interfaces dominate the transport behavior more than the material's bulk properties. You might ask, why is this useful? Surprisingly, reducing thermal conductivity is a key goal in thermoelectric materials, which convert heat into electricity. The efficiency of a thermoelectric device depends on a material's ability to conduct electricity well while blocking heat. This combination is rare in nature, but by using nanostructuring to selectively suppress phonon transport while preserving electronic conduction, scientists can design materials with vastly improved performance. Another application is in thermal insulation at the nanoscale, such as in advanced microelectronics, where managing heat is critical. But the paradox remains powerful because it shows us that structure at the nanoscale can defy macroscopic intuition. Two materials with the same chemistry and similar atomic order can behave completely differently just because of how their structures are arranged on the nanoscale. So what does this teach us? The thermal conductivity reduction paradox reveals that heat is not just about order, it's about hierarchy. At the nanoscale, even a perfectly ordered crystal can be a maze for phonons. And by designing that maze carefully, we can gain unprecedented control over how heat flows, one of the most challenging and important aspects of modern material science. The thermal conductivity reduction paradox refers to a counterintuitive phenomenon observed in nanostructured crystalline materials where thermal conductivity drops dramatically even though the material retains its long-range atomic order. Conventionally, ordered crystals like silicon or diamond conduct heat efficiently through phonons, which are collective vibrations of the atomic lattice. However, when these materials are engineered at the nanoscale, they begin to scatter or localize phonons, disrupting heat flow without significantly affecting electrical conductivity or mechanical strength. This paradox raises deep questions about how order and scale interact in thermal transport. Nanoporous silicon and silicon nanowires can exhibit thermal conductivities 100 times lower than bulk silicon, 
despite preserving crystalline lattice structure. It's like building a perfectly paved highway and then adding thousands of tiny speed bumps. Cars still travel on a smooth surface, but they're constantly slowed down by features invisible from a distance. In crystalline solids, heat is primarily carried by phonons or quantized lattice vibrations. In bulk materials, phonons can travel long distances before scattering, enabling efficient heat transport. However, in nanostructured materials such as super lattices, nanowires, or nanoporous films, phonon motion becomes confined, scattered. Importantly, the electronic properties may remain largely unaffected, making such materials ideal for thermoelectrics. Thin silicon nanowires with diameters below 50 nm exhibit thermal conductivities several orders of magnitude lower than bulk silicon due to surface scattering and phonon boundary reflections. It's like a flute that still plays music. But when narrowed to a drinking straw, its ability to carry air, and thus sound, is severely limited. A nanoshockton disrupts thermal transport by introducing phonon scattering centers such as grain boundaries, interfaces, nanopores, and surface roughness. These features reflect or absorb phonons, reducing their mean free path. In some cases, phonon interference or localization occurs where coherent wave effects prevent heat from propagating efficiently. These effects become significant when the material features approach the phonon wavelength and coherence length, typically in the nanometer range. In superlattice structures made from alternating thin layers of two different materials, e.g. C slash G, phonons are partially reflected at each interface, leading to reduced thermal conductivity due to interface resistance. It's like shouting through a corridor filled with hanging curtains. Your voice echoes and scatters, making it harder for the sound to reach the other end. This paradox illustrates how emergent behavior arises when system size approaches the characteristic length scales of fundamental transport processes. The material appears perfectly ordered at the atomic level, but the introduction of topological or structural complexity at the nanoscale dramatically alters collective behavior. Here, phonon transport. It is a vivid demonstration of how microscopic order and mescopic geometry can combine to produce non-intuitive thermal property. Even with crystalline alignment preserved, adding 3D networks of nanoscopic pores in silicon causes phonons to scatter randomly, reducing heat flow as if the material were amorphous. It's like laying a perfect tile floor, but arranging it on a steep hill. Gravity, or in this case, phonon pathways behaves completely differently than expected. Another key mechanism behind this paradox is thermal boundary resistance, also called Kapitza resistance, which arises at the interfaces between different materials or regions of different structure. At these interfaces, phonons cannot easily transmit energy across mismatched vibrational spectra, creating bottlenecks. Even atomically smooth interfaces can act as resistive barriers at the nanoscale. As nanostructuring introduces more such interfaces, total thermal resistance increases even in otherwise perfect crystals. Nanocomposites with embedded nanoparticles can drastically reduce thermal conductivity by scattering phonons at the matrix particle interfaces while preserving other bulk properties. It's like adding glass doors in a hallway. You can still see through them, but they block airflow every time you walk by. From an information theoretic perspective, thermal conductivity depends on how well vibrational information propagates through a lattice. Nanostructuring reduces the fidelity of phonon transmission, not by adding traditional disorder like defects or impurities, but by encoding geometrical complexity that scatters or traps information carriers. The system loses its ability to communicate energy efficiently without becoming disordered in the conventional sense. Bononic crystals. Periodic nanostructures designed to block specific phonon frequencies act like band gap filters, preventing certain heat waves from propagating. It's like designing a room that looks pristine, but is acoustically dead. <laughs> <laughs> Perfect form, but no echo, no transmission. The ability to reduce thermal conductivity without sacrificing crystallinity opens a pathway to high-performance thermoelectric materials where low heat flow and high electrical conductivity are needed. It also allows engineers to design nanoelectronics and quantum devices that remain cool and stable under operation.
despite high energy density. In thermal management, these materials provide directional, selective, or tunable heat flow crucial for next-generation electronics and photonic circuits. Nanostructured bismuth teroride, by 2 t 3 shows enhanced thermoelectric efficiency due to strong phonon scattering from nanoscale inclusions while maintaining good electrical performance. It's like insulating a wire in such a way that electricity flows perfectly but heat can barely trickle through. Turning the same path into both a highway and a blockade, depending on what travels on it. Despite exciting possibilities, controlling thermal conductivity through nanostructuring poses major engineering and theoretical challenges. Precise fabrication at the atomic scale is needed to fine-tune phonon behavior, and multi-scale simulations are required to model phonon dynamics across nanometer to micrometer scales. Furthermore, optimizing materials for simultaneous electrical, thermal, and mechanical properties often involves complex trade-offs. Creating silicon nanomeshes with controlled pore size and arrangement requires advanced lithography and etching techniques, limiting scalability and increasing cost. It's like sculpting heat itself. You must carve paths in the invisible and build mazes for something you cannot directly see. Future research will focus on programmable thermal materials, topological phenomics, and nanoarchitected lattices where heat transport can be dynamic